Hi there, and welcome back to another Bob Blast. This one is all about productivity. You know, my goal, my main goal when I'm in my studio is to produce a lot of paintings. Well, there are some days it just doesn't happen. I'm sure it happened to you too. So recently, I just had two or three days I just couldn't paint. Creativity wasn't there, that fire in the belly wasn't there. And so what I like to do is organize everything at that time. Don't beat myself up, so I'm not creative today, I can't paint, but you know, you can at least still produce. Productivity comes in all different kinds of forms, like organizing your studio. And the reason I do that is when I'm in the middle of painting, I don't like to be scatterbrained and looking for things. So I, believe it or not, I really do like to be organized. I've got a lot of things going on in my studio. It's small, but it's fantastic, it's efficient, and it really works for me. Anything that doesn't help me produce a good painting is out of the studio. So here I'm on the wall here, I'm working on some series right now. On this side of the studio, you see all my paints are in buckets already, big buckets of uh, acrylic paint. My tape is all in one place. These are the paintings I'm working on right now. I have a table here that helps me to support some of these things over here too, all right? But let me show you the rest, a quick tour of the rest of the studio, and I'll get back to how to organize your studio. So walking further down the line, I noticed I have these strips up here. They're one inch by two inch pine strips that I have screwed into the wall. And this is where I put all my, my, my screws and my tacks and my nails to hang my paintings when I go to look at them. And I keep all these things up on the wall. So many of you have asked me about this. And so I thought I'd better insert this part right here. Now the reason I do that is so I don't have thousands and thousands of holes all over my wall. Well, at least it helps keep it all organized too. So that's my hanging system. Nails and screws and tacks only on that pine strip. Now over here is my table getting ready for the workshops. I'm about to go to Canada, so I have all my, my classes, all the organization, my paints are in the bags. And remember, on all the paints that go into the luggage, check luggage, make sure I, you put the word water-based art materials inside the plastic bag, inside the, the uh, the luggage. Alrighty, so yeah, I can take all of the stuff on the plane, check luggage, make sure that the, the bag says water-based art materials. I've never had a problem. This is going to be collage work. Here's my suitcase. Everything for the whole week goes into the suitcase. Let me show you the other side of the studio. Now in this corner, I have all the paintings ready to go. They've already been put in mats, ready to go to the galleries. And the larger paper pieces getting ready to be mounted on these boards. This is productivity. That's because my studio is somewhat organized. Here over the floor, right in the middle of the floor, I'm working on one of the bigger ones. These are basically just three tables, all sitting on top of cinder blocks. And so I can work on larger ones all at the same time. Over here is my writing table. Plenty of light, <laughs> plenty of light. And I do all my writing this way. And in this little place over here. Now let me go back to the other wall and tell you some more ways you can be more productive. And just to remind you that productivity doesn't always have to be about actually painting. I told you some of the things you can do, like revisiting your old sketchbooks, cleaning your brushes, gessoing more paper and canvases, emptying the trash, sweeping up around here. That way I can say 100% focused on productivity. That's the key thing. Remember, my focus here when I go into the studio is to produce paintings, not to be a scatterbrain, that kind of stuff. You know, I don't find that to be uh, advantageous for the work that I do. I love to paint. So I want to make sure I remove everything that keeps me from loving to paint, and that is staying organized. 
At least that's my MO anyway. You can see here the studio, I'm very, very fortunate to have a nice space. I was able to organize sections of it, one part for productivity, one part for hanging on the walls. I have my drums back there in the corner. You know, I get to play the drums every once in a while throughout the day. That's kind of a nice way to let my creativity flow, all right? My larger paintings, I work on top of tables, on top of tables with, without the legs extended. And I just wanted to say thank you so much for having this little tour here in my studio. Thank you so much. It's been great for me to do this for you. Please share these with your other friends. And remember, you can go to my website and see all 250 something of them. They're all free. And I hope I can help you in your own studio and produce more paintings. Hey, I'll see you on the next Bob Blast. Hi there, I'm Bob Burridge, and I'm inviting you to my next Riverboat Cruise painting workshop hosted by the Dillman's Resort. Guess where I'm going? Stay tuned. So this exciting Riverboat Cruise is next spring. Okay, so stay tuned here. And it's from Amsterdam to Belgium, going into the Netherlands. Oh my gosh, all those castles and those historic cities and history. Uh, we're gonna be relaxing and painting on location, not heavy duty painting, but light sketching, colorful pencils and things like that. Then back on our boat, small boat. No, it's a small boat, not one of these giant cruise ships which I love so much, we get personal service. And we're gonna be with all the masterful museums. We're talking Van Gogh, Rembrandt, Vermeer, and all those other wonderful early painters that we love so much. Now we get to go and paint in the tulip fields, the same places they were, and all of the landscapes. We're gonna be doing landscapes and florals, as you see behind me, different styles, but mostly we'll be touring castles, painting in the fields, and go where all the other famous painters have gone before us. Just think, masterpiece, and all in the Netherlands with all those great painters. So I love this boat cruise, it's small. I love it, we did it before, the same boat cruise that we went up in Paris last year. Thank you, Dillman's, you did a great job. So great, we're gonna do it again. And a lot of people are starting to sign up because it is an exciting place. I've always wanted to go there and paint. I hope you can join us. Check out the information at the end of this and I'll see you in the Netherlands. Hi there, and as most of you know, I love drawing the undraped model, especially in my workshops. One of my more popular workshops, I just love, because I get to draw too. And as you can see, we're doing drawings from charcoal, we do use paint, black and white paint, all the way up into colorful paintings with acrylic paint. But painting the undraped model and drawing the undraped model is a great luxury for me. And besides, it just is, Exciting to have the whole room, everyone's drawing and painting, it's an exciting workshop. You know, I do them here in my own studio and all over the locations, all over the United States and sometimes Europe too. Hey, this is what I love to do. I hope I'll see you in my next undraped model workshop.